Okay. Okay, go ahead. Oh, am I re- am I or yeah. am I live? Yeah. Live from New York. You're Saturday hot. Night Live. You are hot. Anyways. <laughs> and so is the microphone. <laughs> Adjustments for Financing Sales Data Analysis In many states, the assessor must adjust the actual sale price of a property to cash, making fair cash value the objective of the sales analysis. Some states prohibit such adjustments. In general, considerations of down payment, junior mortgages, terms of the loan, and interest rate affect the sale price less when the seller and lender are different parties. When the seller and mortgagee are separate, the seller receives cash for the property sold and is not concerned with the terms of the mortgage in their relation to the sale price of the property. There are, however, three instances in which these considerations may affect the sale price. When the seller and lender are the same party, when the buyer assumes an existing mortgage, and when the seller pays points. In the first case, The seller may adjust the sale price in order to receive a high high rate of interest on the mortgage. The sale price would therefore be lower. On the other hand, the seller might accept a lower interest rate and sell the property at a higher price. To determine whether either of these circumstances has occurred, it may be necessary to analyze the terms of the loan, comparing them with the existing loan market. In instances in which a buyer takes over a seller's mortgage instead of arranging a new one, the sale price may be influenced by both the cash value of the property and the difference between the interest rate of the assumed loan and the going rate. The effect is similar to the effect of the seller-lender situation just described. Points are actually prepaid interest on the mortgage loan. The more points paid, the lower the interest rate on the loan and vice versa. Borrowers typically can pay anywhere from zero to three or four points, depending on how much they want to lower their rates. This kind of point may be tax deductible. One point is equal to 1% of the amount of the loan and thus two points on a $100,000 mortgage is $2,000. 0.02 times 100,000. In effect, points increase the effective interest rate on the loan, usually from the a below market to a market rate. Some conventional lenders tend to quote a somewhat lower market rate of interest and then compensate for this with points. Points paid by the borrower can be ignored by the assessor because they merely constitute part of the effective market rate of interest. However, when points are paid by the seller, they may need to be subtracted from the sale price because the points are providing below market financing to the buyer. This favorable financing has value in the marketplace that is unrelated to cash value, carrybacks, and assumable mortgages at below market rates of interest. Summary. Real estate is an investment. As such, it competes with other kinds of investments and has a number of advantages and disadvantages. The investor must weigh the factors inherent in the ownership of the real estate and their relation to the possible benefits and risks of investing money elsewhere. Once the decision is made, the investor must be concerned with financing. The assessor must be aware of the decisions made by investors in the market and also of the effects of the terms of financing may have on the value of property under appraisal. Several types of investment attract capital from investors, including bonds, stocks, life insurance, loan company deposits, mortgages, and trust deeds savings accounts, and real estate. Factors to consider with real estate investment are safety, liquidity, size of investment, use as collateral, time, management, appreciation, income tax advantage, and leverage. Factors affecting discount requirements can be taken into account by using the summation method. Four factors can be considered. Safe rate, the rate obtainable with 
the most safety and the least risk, risk rate, the return commensurate with the risk assumed by the investor, rate for illiquidity, necessary rate for the fact that real estate is ill is an illiquid asset, rate for management of the investment, factor compensating for the time and cost involvement involved in managing the real estate investment. Methods of financing are as follows. Cash, exchange of cash or check for a general warranty deed. Mortgage, a mortgage is the most common method of real estate financing. It is written it is a written instrument pledging specified real estate as a guarantee for payment of a loan used to purchase a property. Trust deed, a three-party agreement in which the borrower gives title to the trustee to hold for the trustor and the beneficiary. Land contract, exchange of cash and an agreement in a contract stating how the balance is to be paid. There are several types of mortgages. First mortgage, junior mortgage, construction loan mortgage, purchase money mortgage, open-end mortgage, package mortgage, and chattel mortgage. They are classified according to mortgage payment provisions, straight mortgage, amortized mortgage, partially amortized mortgage, reverse mortgage. I think I'm going to skip this part about sources of financing. No, you can You want read me to go ahead and read it? It's just a summary. Okay. Sources of financing are as follows. Commercial banks usually make short-term loans with low loan-to-value ratios. Mutual savings banks, independent mutual associations that generally make loans on FHA-insured mortgages. Life insurance companies attracted to large development loans active in junior mortgages, mortgage loans and commercial mortgages. Mortgage companies often formed to place mortgages in their own name and loan commitments from large lenders. In sales data analysis, there are three instances in which financing may affect sale price. Seller and lender, same party, necessity for analyzing loan terms and com comparing with loan markets. Buyer assumes seller mortgage, sale price influenced by cash value and difference between assumed rate and market rate. Seller pays points, sale price must be reduced by amounts of points paid by seller to bring sale price to market level. End section. <laughs> what is PTEC? PTEC. But what is PTEC? I don't have a clue. <laughs> oh. Okay, prop. Go ahead. PTEC Course 3, Income Approach to Value. Section 2, Real Estate Investment and Finance. PAV Chapter 11, The Damn Green Book. <laughs> <laughs> Learning objective, define income producing property, identify the factors or of real estate investor behavior patterns, explain the difference between market value and investment value, identify and explain the various types of real estate financing, define cash equivalency, A, income producing property, PAV, page 303. Number one, income producing property is real estate that is purchased for investment. Number two, investors make investment decisions based upon risk and expected return. Number three, there are two major components of return on investment in real estate. A, net cash flow, the NCF from rental and miscellaneous income. B, NCF from the resale of the property at the end of the holding period. Number four, there are several risk component there are several components of risk in real estate investment. A. Business risk is the uncertainty of whether the tenant can pay the rent as agreed. B. Market risk is the risk that supply will exceed demand in the local market, causing unexpected vacancy or lower lower than expected rental income growth. And C, financial risk is the possibility that rental income will not be sufficient to meet the financial obligations of the property, including debt service, resulting in foreclosure. D, liquidity risk is the difficulty of converting real estate into cash at its market value in a reasonable period of time. Number five, investors demand higher rates of return for properties with higher levels of risk. B, Factors that affect investor behavior, PAV pages 304 through 305. Number one, safety. Number two, liquidity. Number three, 
size of investment. Number four, use as collateral. Number five, time. Number six, management. Number seven, appreciation. Number eight, income tax advantages. Number nine, leverage. C, market value, PAV, page 15, or investment value, PAV, page 13. Contrast the PAV, page 15 definition with the tax code, section 1.047 definition. Market value means the price at which a property would transfer for cash or its equivalent under prevailing market conditions if a. Exposed for sale in the open market with a reasonable time for the seller to find a purchaser. b. Both the seller and the purchaser know of all the uses and purposes to which the property is adapted and for which it is capable of being used and of the enforceable restrictions on its use. And c. Both the seller and purchaser seek to maximize their gains and neither is in a position to take advantage of the exigencies of the other. Number one, market value is the most probable price that a property should bring in a competitive and open market under all conditions requisite to a fair sale, including in the following conditions. A, buyer and seller are typically motivated. B, both parties are well informed or well advised and acting in what they consider their best interest. C, a reasonable time is allowed for exposure in the open market. D, payment is made in terms of cash in United States dollars or in terms of financial arrangements comparable thereto. E, the price represents the normal consideration for the property sold unaffected by special or creative financing or sales concessions granted by anyone associated with the sale. Number two, investment value is the value of an investment to a particular investor based on his or her investment requirements, for, such as required rate of return on investment. Number three, difference between market and investment value. A, market value can be called the value in the marketplace. B, market value is objective, impersonal, and detached. C, market value assumes no specific buyer or seller. D, Investment value is the specific value to a particular investor. E. Investment value reflects the attitudes and perceptions of one specific investor. F. Investment value is based upon subjective and personal parameter of the investor client. G. Investment value of a property may equal market value if the investor's perceptions and requirements are typical of investors in the market. D. Real estate investments. PAV, page 304. Number one, real estate as a competitive investment. A, bonds, certificates of ownership of specified portions of a debit, of a, of a debt due to be paid by government or corporation to the holder, usually with a fixed rate of interest. B, stocks, shares of a company. C, life insurance. D, mortgages and trust deeds. E, savings accounts, F, real estate. Okay, when you have a long list like that, recap it with what kind of, what that list is. It's e. real estate investments. You, okay. know, you follow me? I do, but it's a little easier said than done, just because okay. I'm scrolling. Oh, I got you. Okay, all right. Yeah, but I will do my best. Okay, I see. So, E, discount requirements. Um, number one, discount rate, the annual percentage rate reflecting the competitive rate of return on an investment, a return on an investment. Interest rate, the cost of borrowed funds. Um, three, factors affecting discount, the summation method of analyzing the discount requirements for real estate investments. Um, I feel like this one is split. So it's not going to be really easy. It to looks like this brand new textbook. Oh, well, no. This is January 2014. Okay. So the factors affecting discount, one of the factors affecting discount is going to be safe rate, a rate obtainable with the most safety and least risk. B, risk rate, the return commensurate with the risk assumed by the investor. Um, a rate for in illiquidity, the rate necessary because an investment in real estate ties up money that cannot be quickly reconverted to cash. 
D, rate for management of the investment, the rate the rate component in order to compensate for the times and costs involved in managing the real estate investment. Example. Ah. What's the matter? I scrolled way too much. Here's the example. Components of the discount rate, PAV, page 306. Safe rate is 6%. Risk rate is 2%. Non-liquidity rate, 1%. Management rate, 1%. Total discount rate is 10%. So, methods, methods of real estate financing, PAV, pages 306 to 307. Cash purchase, the number one is the cash purchase. Um, it's a 1% equity ownership. B, also known as unleveraged investment. Number two, mortgage. Most common method of financing. B, the note specifies the length and terms of the loan. C, the mortgage pledges the mortgage pledges the real real estate as a collateral for the loan. D creates a mortgager lender and a mortgagee borrower. E, the higher the loan to value ratio, the higher the leverage. Uh, number three, a trust deed as a method of real estate financing. Um, A, a third party agreement, lender, borrower, and trustee. B, a trustee holds trustee holds the title to the property until the loan is fully paid. C. The trustee can sell the property and pay off the lender if the borrower defaults. D. Foreclosure does not require court action. Did you read A? I did. A third okay. party agreement, lender, borrower, and trustee. Okay. So, another method of real estate financing is a land contract. A, also known as a contract for sale or contract for deed. B, the seller is also the lender in the transaction. Uh, C, the buyer makes a down payment to the seller and takes possession. D, the buyer makes payments to the seller until the loan is paid in full. And E, of a land contract, the buyer receives title when the loan is, paid, is fully repaid. Is that better? Yeah, that's great. Okay. G, Sources of Commercial Property Financing, PAV, pages 309 to 310. Number one, commercial banks. Number two, mutual saving banks, locally primarily, located primarily in the northeastern U.S. Uh, three, life insurance companies. Four, mortgage companies. I didn't know life insurance companies would finance commercial property. Okay. <laughs> I would get that wrong on a test if they asked that. Well, I mean, maybe not now. You, not now, because I've read it, and you've heard right. it, and it's in your brain. <laughs> so, H, cash equivalency analysis, adjusting comps for atypical or non-market financing, PAV, pages 312 to 313. Number one, market value assumes that the transaction was financed in terms of cash or similar arrangements. Number two, comparable sales that have non market financing involved needs to be adjusted to reflect the impact on the sales price due to the favorable financing offered the buyer. And uh, number three, there are three situations that may warrant the appraiser to make a cash equivalency adjustment to the sales price of a comparable sale. A, the seller is also the lender in the transaction, seller financing, escrow contract, contract for deed, in this case, the buyer may have paid more for a property because of a low interest rate loan offered by the seller. Um, another situation that the appraiser may make a cash equivalency adjustment to the sales price of a comparable sale is B, the buyer assumes an existing mortgage that has an interest rate below current market rate. In this case, the buyer may have paid more for a property because of the favorable existing financing 
which is not typical in the current market. And another, the last situation that may warrant the appraiser to make a cash equivalency adjustment to the sales price of a comparable sale is that the seller pays points on the buyer's new loan to provide the buyer with an interest rate that is below the current market rate. In this case, the points may be deducted from the transaction price to determine market value. Uh, section 3, Income and Expense Analysis, PAV Chapter 12. Learning objectives identify six sources of data for estimating income and expenses based on market information. Describe the eight types of leases associated with income producing properties. Describe six types of rent associated with income producing properties. Identify the meaning of potential gross income, PGI, and effective gross income, EGI. Estimated operating expenses and reserves for replacement. Calculate net operating income. Use an expense statement or expense ratio to convert gross annual income to NOI. Oh.